Hi guys, so I already filmed this, but then my camera ran out of memory, so it cut off like maybe three minutes that I had left. Um, and I went and took out the garbage, so now I feel like, whew, clean the litter box, took out garbage, very protective for me. Um, so I didn't do an Ulta drugstore haul. Uh, real quick, I went on Ulta basically because they had a gift with purchase for benefit. You spent like $25. I didn't know that when you check out on Ulta.com, you have to go into your cart and select free gift and drop, uh, it has a drop down menu of the free gifts available, which is obviously usually one, and I didn't know that, so I didn't get my free gift, called on it because it was my error, but I've never heard of a site doing that. I would think you could just delete it out of your cart if you didn't want the free gift for some reason, you know. Anyways, um, so I didn't get it, and I called on it, and they said that what they do in those cases, which apparently I'm not the only one, is they send a $10 gift card. Not quite what I wanted. I wanted this free gift that, um, from Benefit, it was a mini pore professional, which is one of my favorite products from them that I've been using. Sorry, I have no natural light. Too bright. Is this going to be too dark? No, actually that's much better. We're just going to use one light and I'll just be half dark. But um, it was just a mini one of those and I thought that'd be good for travel. There was a mini bad gal lash, which I think is decent. So, um, And then the thing I was most excited for was their cha-cha tint, which is the lip and cheek stain. Uh, that's what I wanted to try. But they, So I reordered stuff to get it and use the little drop down menu this time. Long story short, I will get my free gift. This is what I got to be eligible for that, which I've been looking at this for a while, but I finally decided to get it because two products I really want to try are in it. But the first one I'll talk about is High Beam, which I already have a sample of this, but it's just a highlight product. Um, I put it on my cheekbones and my brow bones sometimes and my Cupid's bow. All those bows. Brown bones and bows. Um, so I like that. Then um, Girl Meets Pearl, which at first I wasn't sure which one this was. There's um, That Gal, which is a primer. And then there's this one. This one you put on after your makeup to give your face a more pearlescent look without being hopefully shiny. I've used it just on my cheeks. And then I put High Beam on my brow bow. <laughs> cheekbones. And that works fairly well, so I like it, but it's not like a one I'll go purchase. Um, then Erase Paste is the one I was really excited to try. Um, it's a super peachy shade. This is just a tiny little mini one. This is in number two medium, but it's a very peachy shade for me. I'm more um, yellow toned, so that's why I'm not... I wasn't planning on using this for blemishes. Um, I stick to my Laura Mercier number two, see, Laura Mercier secret concealer number three for that because it's more, uh, I can mix the two shades and cover my blemishes really close to my skin color. But this with its yellow tone, I'm or peachy tone, sorry, I use under my eyes to combat that um, blue based veiny dark circle thing. And I really do like it. I'm debating. I might buy a full size after this. It depends if I still love it after using it for a little bit. Then the last thing I was excited about is Posy Tint. Which I was super excited to try because I wanted Posy Tint even more than Benetint. But Benetint came in the Rare Beauty. That's what it was. The little um, Snow White travel thingy they came out with and so I like that a lot. This is the really pink tuned one. So I'll just do a quick swatch of that. And it's definitely more creamy looking than it's like a gel cream color instead of like the sheer red of the other one. It does stain if you can see like the streak that I put on there. But I feel like this you have to you have to layer more on for more pigment. It's not as pigmented as Benetint. But um, once you layer more on, it's a really pretty, just pink color. 
and I do like it. So um, I bought a full size of that with Sugar Bomb Blush. That was what I bought for my second Benetton Benefit product thing from Ulta so that I could get my free gift. That's what I got. So long story short. And then I've been staring at this on Sephora, and i seen Ulta had it, and I got it. There was a free gift with it, too, that I obviously didn't get, uh, but that I didn't care as much about. But it's the Tarte Trio um, in Architote, which is the lipstick tree. It's a really interesting story how it was named after this tree. Women use the seeds for um, like very natural cosmetics, and like they have for years and years and years. It's a really pretty peachy color. Um, I'm wearing the blush right now, but that's a swatch of the blush right there. And it's a really pretty color. It matches more the compact than the blush. The blush, like, itself looks dirty and unspectacular to me, but it ends up being the shade that the packaging is. So I really love that, and I love it on my cheeks. Um, it's perfect corally peach color. It's kind of a pinky peach with definite peach leans too. It's like a peachy rose. I guess that's what I feel like it is more. And then um, this is a Lip Surgeons in Architote. All, everything is Architote. Um, I'm not sure I'm actually saying that right, but this is just um, the Lip Surgeons Lip Luster, Natural Lip Luster. So it's a little darker than the blush or the lip gloss that I'm about to show probably because of the formulation of it, um, but it's got a bit of shimmery to, shimmer, shimmery to it. And then the lip gloss is, look this up real quick, um, the Mericha Divine Shine Lip Glass, gloss, to in a matte mood. So that's a sheer gloss, that, it's really nice paired, I was wearing these earlier, I love them all together. They're in my tart look that I'll be putting up before this, I hope. Um, but I really, really like these. So, I like that trio. It's perfect for summer. It's a perfect, like, introduction. This is my first 12-hour tart uh, Amazonian clay powder. I really like it, but I'm debating if I should try more of the line because a lot of them are very similar to, like, my MAC blushes. And I have plenty of blushes. It's just... I can't stop. <laughs> then um, NYX had a buy one get one half off so I was so excited to see this that I had to get it and then I had to find a second thing to get this is the Crimson Am Am Amulet, Amulet collection inspired by the movie Dark Shadows so it comes in kind of this book it's cruelty free I didn't see that on the back it's got a little bunny this is cruelty free <laughs> um, so this is inspired by the movie and it's got more neutral shades on bottom, uh, more of the colored shades on top of eyeshadow. This has 24 eyeshadows, um, both matte and shimmer. It's not got a lot of extreme colors. It's got um, a lighter purple, darker purple, olivey greens, forest greens, blues, nothing like hot pink or, you know, super out there colors. And then it's got a little mirror, of course, and then the eyeshadows. Then you turn this page, and here it has each of the characters that it's inspired by, um, right here. And it's got a shadow base, which is an eye primer, the HD high definition shadow base, and then an eyeliner. I haven't tried those two. I haven't actually tried any of these products yet. Curious. And there's like tape over the lip glosses. I wonder if that peels back away and then reseals. Appears so. Um, <laughs> so it's got seems like a main cheek blush is here. This to me looks like NARS orgasm a lot. Like holy cow. I I'm sure it's horrible for swatching tonight. That actually showed up really well, and it's very pigmented. There it is. <laughs> I couldn't find it in the camera. Yeah, that's not going to show up, but it's really pigmented. I don't know why that blush is bigger than all the other ones, but there's four other blush tones. 
um, a really peachy color, a red tone color that could be used as eyeshadow, um, a peachy color that looks exactly like that, like I don't actually see what the difference is between that and this. They're like identical to me. Yeah, even swatched. Maybe this one's a little Yeah, no, they're pretty identical. And then this one's more of a pink color. And then this is a highlight, which is just a white. It's not a very shimmery highlight, so if you don't like shimmer highlights, that's good. Um, and then lip stay, lip balms, gloss pot things. I don't usually like these in packagings. Um, they've got like a caramely brown color and a hot pink color. Really brown, hot pink. <laughs> and then a more peachy, peachy corally type color and a red, a very scarlet red. So those are really nice. Um, I'm not sure I really agree with how closely it's inspired by their makeup, even like the pictures of them. It looks nothing like some of the shades they're wearing. Um, Dr. Hoffman, which is um, Helen Bodum Carter, has a very green eyeshadow on, and none of these greens look even close to that kind of green. Um, and then Angelique, which is painted by Eva Green, love her, has a very like scarlet red lip, like it's more of like a bright red than a deep red, and they don't have quite that color, but I really like this little booklet, and actually I am surprised how much I think this would be great for traveling, it's even got a mirror, so if you go somewhere and you just have to quickly touch up, or make your eye look from day to night, I don't like these eyeshadow brushes of course, but, oh well, but it's got lots of neutrals and enough shimmery fun colors to create different smoky eyes, and lots of blush for in this little container, so only thing I would carry extra with me, obviously mascara and stuff, but would be um, extra highlighter because I'm not huge on the highlighter and lipstick lip gloss because I don't like it in a pot. And then my second thing that I got was mostly because I want buy one get one half off. I already took out the brush, but it's the 10 color eyeshadow palette, the Runway Collection. This one is Caviar and Bubbles, and I got this for. An I've been loving, I don't actually, I, I usually play up my eyes, I never play up my lips, but I've been trying to get into more nudes, and I thought this might be a good cover all palette, like kind of one that is tiny, like it's very compact, I always don't know how to show it, like I guess it's about the size of my face, like from here down, um, it's just really nice compact, you could throw it and travel with it, and it does have enough shades that I think I could get away with just this. It's got kind of a beigey shade. It's got shimmer. It's got mattes. There's a really dark black, slightly browned black, a uh, chocolate brown, um, a really white highlight color, a more shimmery highlight color. You can mix and match those two and create kind of a whitened highlight. So this is a really good one. I, I like that one a lot. Um, even though I love, like, Urban Decay's Naked Palette, which, you know, this, I think, was, like, six bucks and I got half off or something, you know. For ten eyeshadows, this is a great bargain. And I feel like Urban Decay should be for fifty bucks for the Naked 2 palette. I'm like, oh, you know, I should always want to bring that instead. But I feel like this one did a much more efficient job picking picking shades that are perfectly neutral neutrals, like you can grab it, make smoky eyes and everything with it, it's a really good brown neutrals. Um, so yeah, those are what I got from Ulta and I'm really pleased with that, um, I'll probably do another haul obviously with that, um, and then just real quick I'm gonna go through, cause my camera is probably dying, I had to upload stuff and I didn't have time to charge it. I got three of the new L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, that's these little pot ones, three of their summer colors, which I told myself I wasn't going to, and then, yeah. Um, this one is Glistening Garnet, which looks more like a fuchsia, it's like fuchsia meets Max Cranberry, and it's really well pigmented, like super well pigmented. All of these are, usually are. There is one out of here that I don't think is as good as the others, but it's still way better than most drugstores. And that's Endless Sea, which is the turquoise blue, which is really gorgeous. I mean, it is. 
looks uh, really pretty. It's still super pigmented, but the other ones smooth on more like even and more like butter. This one I actually have to try to make sure it goes on really smooth. And I love that they have this little um, stopper thing that you pat down because it's basically a pressed loose powder. And um, if you've ever seen my haul that I got Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill, one of them I opened up and went everywhere because it was loose and it was the first time opening it. And I opened it, it just went everywhere and I didn't know it was going to be, it was supposed to be pressed loose powder and it was loose. That was terrible. And then Golden Emerald, which I didn't think I'd get to because it looks a little like my the olive -y color that Golden Sage. This one is just so beautiful. It's it's definitely a golden emerald. It's so pretty. This is probably my favorite. I've been loving like smoky green eyes. And this is definitely the most pigmented. I feel like I'm running out of breath. That's how much I'm talking. Especially because I had to do this twice. That one's so pretty. And then the very last product is Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Mascara, or Mascara Makeup. This is the 24 hour. I have the color medium beige. Um, the one thing I hate about drugstores foundations is you have to color match yourself. But I did fairly well. I'm kind of impressed. It's a very like it looks like chocolate malt to me. And I wasn't going to get this because I, I haven't actually tried the other color stales, stales, but I read reviews on this everywhere. Like, it seems to be so popular, so I gave it a shot. And um, I do like it. I wore it today for the first time. I don't feel like it's tons better or less better than most of my foundations. Um, I have mostly Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Um, which I mix sometimes with the tinted moisturizer, and I have um, Makeup Forever HD foundation. That goes on much lighter, but it provides the same coverage. This is much more richer and heavier feeling, which I think I'll love for winter. In summer, I mean, I don't feel heavy right now. I've had it on my face for a while, so that's good, but at first it just did feel really thick, but that makes me feel like at least it's covering things, so... I still like it, and it's got a really nice package, like, glass. It feels really heavy. It sounds stupid, but when you buy a really cheap product, like, that's my only complaint with these, is they feel cheap because they're plastic. They have such wonderful packaging, it's just that it's plastic. And aren't these gorgeous together? I wish I could create an eye look with all of them. That would be, like, not too much, <laughs> but I'm not sure that's possible. Alright, I will see you guys later. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> But I definitely would recommend the NYX Runway Collection Caviar and Bubbles as my main recommendation. And then if you haven't tried the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows to do it because they're really great. And then the foundation if you like heavier coverage foundation. And it doesn't feel overly cakey but it does at first feel a little heavy. Just so you know. And then also <laughs> the Tarte Architote. I definitely remember recommend the three three piece but definitely I love these blushes definitely 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 all right I'll talk to you later bye